view life with sickle cell as it's a struggle and it's a struggle that is as one guy um they had mentioned here but it's what i always say it's my cross to bear and i know god has put me in this position everything god does is intentional and for me sickle cell is an intentional part of my life and i don't know if this is for my greater purpose i don't know what it is but god has me as a sc patient on purpose anemia ever since i was little and i've known about me having sickle cell anemia i've never looked as my life being diminished I've never looked as my life being shortened. I've looked at it as my life being fulfilled and pushing me to do better and to do more than what I'm supposed to already be doing on this earth. Just because I got sickle cell doesn't mean sickle cell has me. It's not going to stop me. It didn't stop me from going to college. It didn't stop me from being a cheerleader. It didn't stop me from procreating, having my daughter when they told me that I shouldn't have a child and I wasn't going to live past a certain age. Nobody is God. So if people are out there and you're hearing me and you suffer from sickle cell disease and you're ashamed and don't want people to know, baby, let your voice come out because you do matter. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Don't let nobody put no date on your life because God did not put an expiration date on your foot. Don't let nothing stop you. If somebody tells you that you can't do something, even the doctors, you use that to make you stronger and to prove them wrong because I do it every day. God bless. This burden on my back. Um, and I've taken it and turned it more into an opportunity than a burden because I, I honestly feel like without sickle cell, I would not have been pushed to do many of the things that I have done in my life. Because with this disease, a lot of no's come with. You hear a lot of no's. There's no. You can't do this. You can't do that. I don't take too kindly to no, just for that reason. So when I hear no, oh, it's my, it's my, um, instant mission to turn to yes. So just be calm. You said I can't. Oh, you said I'm like, like this one or that one. Oh, I'm going to show you I am in better. So, um, yeah, so it's a blessing for me. It's made me do a lot of things I think I would not have. Younger, when I was younger, I was kind of more of an introvert. Than anything kind of shy, reserved, kept myself. I didn't know how to really express myself to anybody else unless you were sick like me. Then I can relate. But if you're, as they call it, quote unquote normal, I didn't really know how to connect with that. But um, now, um, yeah, it's blessed me to go above and beyond and do many things in life that I never thought I would do. So, and I like to kind of take that and spread that to other people, even people who outside of sickle cell, who've heard no other life. I work with high school age children. Um, I work as an uh, instructor online. And a lot of these kids have heard no all their life. And that's why it's my mission to turn their no's into yeses. They say, no, you can't get your diploma, or you had a baby, it's too late for you. Uh-uh. Me going to prove, like, you have more of a reason not to finish than ever. So, if people keep coming, you know you're going to hear that yes from me. And I'm going to make sure you get came here to do what you did done. And that's get that high school diploma complex because uh for me i feel like it's life still and that's a blessing in itself um yes some days it is difficult um yes some days are hard and trying and i just want to give up and throw in the towel but then i remember that you know i'm still alive it could be worse people are worse out there have harder situations but i'm truly blessed so i'm grateful for that part um <laughs> So yeah, I can't <laughs> say it's a bad Life with sickle cell can be pretty challenging. Um, yeah, it's, it's not easy to deal with, but I will say that um, keeping an optimistic outlook on life really does help. Um, doing things that you enjoy to get your mind off of it. Uh, yeah, sickle cell, it, it can get you down, but I feel like your, your mindset is, is what what picks you up and what makes you um, or, or what gets you through everything. I have been my life with sickle cell just as I don't have sickle cell. Because just because you have sickle cell don't mean you can't do anything. Because you can do whatever you put your mind to. 
and I view myself as being healed by God's stripes, and I view my life as a person who's going to be here, who's going to live, and I speak life. And that's all you have to do is just speak life and to yourself, period, point blank.